Welcome to the Electronic Church of God of Arizona and the Lord's Care Ministry. Here we find ourselves on the fourth work day of the week in the midst of the week that our calendar calls a Wednesday. It was in the midst of the week when Christ was put on a stake. You can find that back in Daniel. I can when he foretold this was what was going to happen in the midst of the week. Well, brethren, with that, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. Knowledge gives light for your daily walk. Day 93 of the year 2013. Brethren, I suggest you write the chapter and verses down on a pad and paper so that you can go back and study the whole context at your own leisure. And in doing so, brethren, I suggest you use the 5 W's system for Bible study, and that is the who, what, where, when, and why this chapter and verse was given. They want you to know who was doing the talking, what they were talking about, when was, it, and etc. Go down and find out. Also, brethren, you can use the pause button down below the video to start and stop this video study as you go along so that you'll be able to pick up your own Bible, read chapter and verse right along with us. Well, with that, let's get into Knowledge Gives Light for Your Daily Walk. And we're going to start reading in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 through 9. Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. Now in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 through 11, My thoughts are not your thoughts. Is the who, what, where, when, and why. Who's doing the talking here? My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain is coming down, and the snow from heaven, and is returning not tether, but is watering the earth, so shall my word be that is going forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Now in Romans chapter 11, verses 32 and 33, God hath concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all on the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Now in Amos chapter 4 and verse 11, You were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning. Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 14, The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness hath surprised the hypocrites, who among them shall dwell with the devouring fire. Who among us shall dwell with the everlasting burnings? Second Corinthians chapter 1, verses 8 through 10. We had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God which is raising the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, and doeth deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. In Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now we find in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31, it is a Fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, 
we persuade men. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 2. Be instant in season, out of season. In Jude chapter 23, pardon me, not chapter, Jude only has verses. Jude 23, others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire. Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6, not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. In 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4, Who will have all men be saved, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? May my heart be so childlike and pure that I may see the beauty of the world around me, as it appears to the eyes of the angels, and as it appears to you, my Lord, when you notice the lilies and the birds. Knowledge is the light that comes from God, not from the tradition of men. Shining out of darkness or shining out of ignorance. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2. The people that walked in ignorance have seen a great knowledge that they dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Upon them hath the light shined. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men, not make void the word of God. Do you make void the word of God? Are you following the path of the way of life? Or you are you following the tradition of men and trying to sneak over the wall, as Christ puts it, to get to the kingdom? He says, you're not going to be able to sneak over that wall. You have to find that narrow path that leads to the kingdom. Brethren, if you want to find that kingdom and have eternal salvation with the Father and the Son, get down on your knees and repent. Repent for following the tradition of men. Ask the Father and the Son to bring that spirit, their spirit, in you to abode with your spirit, to abode in your body. And while they're aboding there, ask them for the, to give you the knowledge, the understanding of that love letter they had put before you. And that love letter is your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for